right, what is up guys? Strong Island Fitness. I know it's been a while since I last made a video. However, I got a new camera now. I went out and I uh, bought a uh, Canon uh, HF R600. Um, I got it off eBay. I got a good deal on it. So I said, why not? Well, I bought the camera and uh, hopefully now I'll be putting up a lot more videos for you guys. Um, I'm not recording off my iPhone anymore, so uh, this camera should be able to pick up a lot better details and uh, get the workout footage and stuff I do around the house um, a lot better. It should be a lot better quality for you guys. So I'm going to be going to do a workout with my friend Josh right now. Josh was uh, supposed to be an FPC competitor. Um, he had a show, I believe early August um, of this summer and he uh, a week out before the show they uh, decided the NPC decided to actually shut down the show uh, for what reasons we're not really too sure however he was pretty devastated um, he worked really hard for that and uh, you know wasted four months and basically his entire summer dieting and he got down like 155 pounds something crazy like that and uh, a week before the show, they just canceled, and he looked phenomenal. So we're going to be doing an arms workout with him, and I will see you guys at the gym. All right, what is up, guys? It's Strong Island Fitness here. We're over in uh, Unique Fitness over in Farmville. I got my brother Josh with me. He's going to introduce himself real fast. Go ahead. What's going on, guys? My name is Josh DeCunha. I'm 20 years old. I'm a full-time college student. I'm here with my brother Joe Brennan. We're about to kill an arm workout. Uh, just a little background on myself. Um, I've been into this whole bodybuilding thing for about three or four years, taking it seriously. And um, I had my first men's physique competition this summer that unfortunately got canceled due to circumstances with the organization. But I definitely look forward to competing in the future. So let's get it. That's what's up. All right, guys, we'll see you right there. We're going to hit some arms. Let's get it. Basic barbell curls. Squeezing at the top for around 20 reps or so. We did three sets of this. As I said, again, just to get the blood moving and warm up, I like to do these um, most of the times in my bicep workouts. Usually I vary it a little bit, but I like doing three sets of this nice and slow and light just to get some blood moving to uh, start the workout. Alright, so after that we started out with some close grip preacher curls on the easy curl bar. Uh, again, it was pretty light most of the sets. Uh, the first few sets we did around 12 to 15 reps. Uh, we did four sets of this and I headed off um, kind of heavier on the last set. I went up to the uh, 100. I did it for I think like 6 to 8 or something around there, probably around 8 reps. You'll uh, see in the next clip coming up over here. And as you can see, I broke out my Bout That Life Stringer. Shout out to Chris Jones, from who's now not on Physiques of Greatness. At the time I bought the stringer, I believe he was representing Physiques of Greatness. But as you can see, I was doing the 100. It was kind of heavy, but I was still able to control it. So this was my heavy set, and I think I went for around 8 reps or so. And then the next thing we did was incline curls. However, I do a little bit of a different variant of the incline curls. I actually uh, learned this from a Kai Green video uh, back a few years ago. Wearing Chris Jones' stringer, doing Kai Green's workouts, who am I, right? 
we're doing incline curls, but I'm keeping my upper arm as straight as possible, I'm not moving my upper arm at all. And when I get to the bottom of the movement, I hold it for a little bit and I make sure my arm is stuck out and locked out completely. By doing this, it really works the bottom end of your bicep. As you can see, we superset that with close grip um, curls right here. Next thing we did was hammer curls on the cables with the rope. Uh, towards the end of the movement, we, as you can see, Josh here is turning his wrist. That gives it a lot of extra tension on the bicep, and especially on the outer head. And this is the last thing we did for biceps. Uh, it was a short video. I only really had about an hour and a half to record because of work that day. I'm sorry. Uh, I will get longer footage for you guys. But this was just um, preacher curls again on the machine. Stacked 425s up. And we went until failure on each set. I uh, dropped the weight from 425s to 3 to 2 to 1. And we superset that with hammer curls on the easy curl bar. If you want to pump like no other, do this exercise. There is nothing better than this exercise for a crazy pump. Again, it's basically three drop sets in a superset in one set. Uh, a lot of times I do this first, but I said, eh, you know, I'm going to switch it up. I'll try to do it last just for a burnout for one set. And that's what we did. And after this, both arms are on fire. Anyone who is new to the gym, I would not recommend doing this. Maybe give it a little bit of time because I remember the first time I tried this, and again, I was training for a, a while now. I felt like my arms are going to fall off. I literally felt like I tore my bicep at one point during this exercise, like a couple of years back when I first tried it. So, again, anyone who's advanced in the gym, go for it. If you've been in for you know a couple of years, you can still try it. But uh, I don't recommend this to anyone who's just starting out just because it's extremely high volume and puts a lot of stress on the bicep. Josh do the same thing. He's done this before. I made him go through my bicep workouts a few times. I gotta say, man, he controlled that pretty well. I thought I was stronger than him. I was for a while, at least. All that off-season chub must have gained a little bit of strength in there, too. And again, guys, sorry for the camera quality. I know sometimes it was, you know, frames per second was, was breaking down, and I don't know what was going on. I was just trying to test this camera out, and it was getting a little laggy at some points. I got to figure that out. Drops one production on the beat. He was having a lot worse of a time doing this the first time he tried it. And again, I'm sorry you guys that I couldn't get more footage. Um, I had work that day and I was just trying to get in a quick arm workout. We were still there about an hour and a half, believe it or not. Uh, this was, again, like I said, our last set for biceps. Um, then we hit some trips.
rise after this. And it was a good little workout. I wish I could have done more. So we kicked off triceps with some rope push downs. You can see at the end I'm separating my wrists, I'm getting that squeeze at the bottom, really putting pressure on the tricep. Alright, the next thing we did was we kicked it off with some dips. Um, everything again was around, uh, I think, four sets. Uh, other than the last bicep exercise we did, that was just one set of a burnout. But this was my last set. Um, I strapped 345s. Um, I tried four one time and that did not go really well. I think I got like three reps and on the last one I came down and like fucked up my shoulder. <laughs> so not a good idea. Do not try to be a hero. Do not try to ego lift. Ego lifting will get you nowhere but injuries and slowing your progress down in the gym. That's all. He could have easily done three plates. I've seen him do three plates before, but he didn't let his ego get in the way. The next thing we did was we kicked it off with... Um, basically a different variant of skull crushers uh, I was like hey you know let's come over you want to do some skull crushers and he wanted to do this instead which I agree you do feel like kind of a little bit of a better stretch um, if you do this behind the head and as you can see seated getting on a bench that ends like around your neck or we actually did it on the preacher curl um, bench in this case I wouldn't recommend doing that if you have bad um, elbows. That's very, very harsh on the elbows. But on this thing we did was kickbacks. I love kickbacks. I love the stretch I can feel in my triceps. Um, I believe this is what concluded the workout. So again, we did like four sets of just about everything. It was a quick workout. I usually am not in the gym that short of a uh, time but I had to get it in I want to get a video out for you guys and this we also did about 20 reps or so just to burn out